So now after uh, knowing the differences and creating some simple uh, components for the both types, uh, let's import some uh, basic stuff like uh, we need for styling uh, as I mentioned in, in the beginning of this uh, tutorial we're not focusing on the styling and the HTML and CSS and all the template stuff uh, we are just here focusing on on react so uh, for styling sake I will I will uh, use bootstrap uh, for the uh, for the grid system and some styling for uh, some elements uh, also I will use uh, font awesome library to uh, for icons uh, so let's start with uh, importing bootstrap CDN We will use uh, Bootstrap for Virgin. So um, CDN. Okay. Let's grab a link. For the 4.2, the latest version, and. I think we there there's better links better uh, CDN let's see oh, wait a let's try CDN let's grab the link yes this is it and this is the HTML we will go to our <coughs> outside source we have public the index HTML which is the basic structure uh, we will go under here beneath beneath the uh, manifest we will uh, put bootstrap link for the CDN so we can use it directly without any uh, any extra files also we need uh, fonts awesome and let's grab the link copy go to beneath bootstrap and paste it and save so if we if we take a look on the styling uh, uh, it's it's been changed for a little bit uh, so we imported bootstrap and font awesome successfully to test our font awesome let's try some icon Let's close this we will not use it again I believe so here we can um, let's delete this and put a span with the class of uh, FAB and FAIMDB save and there's an icon but I think we are using the fourth edition uh, we need the latest one which is a little different so uh, let's see if we have the fifth edition 5.5 .5. some CDM so here it is uh, in the font awesome 
uh, official website we can grab the CDN link copy go to uh, here we replace this old one with the a new font awesome and save uh, let's get back into our react uh, and here it is there's a font awesome uh, icon so let's make it bigger Sorry guys about this, but uh, we need to uh, use some extra libraries. So here it is; it's working perfectly. Uh, we so we imported uh, Bootstrap and uh, Font Awesome successfully. So let's create uh, our first app component. Uh, first, as you remember, we have a nav bar. Uh, we have a nav bar at the top. Uh, and also we have a footer uh, at the bottom so uh, let's start with the nav bar so first we need to create uh, a component so let's just delete this simple one uh, also close the index uh, we are not importing text we need to first uh, let's delete this and also let's create a new component inside our components folder uh, we call it navbar navbar.js okay uh, so in the navbar we will create uh, we can also use a functional based component or uh, a class based component so uh, in our case let's create uh, uh, functional based components so as you remember uh, first we start with import react from react and then we we create the function here so to, to save some times we can we can uh, use some uh, some an extension some extension uh, to auto create uh, the basic structure and the basic uh, syntax uh, of our components and help us to save some time uh, so in uh, VS code uh, editor the code editor here I'm using we have for the extensions uh, extensions uh, there's uh, an extension called ES7 react redux graphql react native snippets so this by using this uh, uh, this extension we can use um, uh, some we can use some shortcuts like you see if you uh, to create uh, uh, where it is mm. here it is uh, to create react components we can use a shortcut rcc so it will create a class based uh, component and also we can use rce to, to create a class uh, based components and uh, put the export default after the uh, the class like here like this one uh, also we can use uh, our uh, fc to create a function uh, based components so uh, I recommend uh, go ahead and install this extension I believe it's uh, available also for uh, another text editors like um, I don't know uh, atom atom uh, sublime text uh, just go ahead and uh, install it so after installing it let's uh, R we need to create a function rfce so we have a basic structure as you see for a function based component so uh, 
here's the uh, basic structure and basic syntax we need to boot the navbar uh, here navbar syntax uh, we are using bootstrap so uh, in bootstrap there's a basic structure for navbars so I will copy and paste it here like so let's just indent it a little bit okay much better okay so uh, we need to make some changes for example for the class uh, in react or in JavaScript it's a reserved uh, element or is a reserved word so you can't uh, use uh, this uh, element or this name or this uh, word because it's already uh, reserved so we need uh, in react uh, it's been changed to a uh, class name word so we need to change all the class words into into class name uh, you can select multiple elements or multiple text by control D class oops sorry about that class name so uh, I think that's it for the uh, navbar we can save and uh, we need to go to the app and uh, import our navbar here so uh, for the import nav bar from navbar okay also we need to navbar and save we will see some errors okay get an address okay we will provide some uh, the addresses of uh, it's uh it's complaining about this about the anchor tag uh we don't have uh an address about the address for this uh we'll take care of this later uh we will use uh, a link which is uh, which is a library inside or a package inside uh inside react to deal with the links so for now just let's take a look and here's our uh, our navbar. So we have uh, a basic navbar. Uh, uh, we use Bootstrap to uh, to import it and use it inside our application. Also, we have uh, to use a footer. We have a footer in our application. So for the footer, we need to create a new uh, a new element or a new component. So in the components footer js also it's a static uh, element or a static uh, component so our uh, fce and we will put I'll copy and paste and let's take a look it's a row uh, in bootstrap all these classes are bootstrap uh, classes for grid system uh, a column with uh, uh, with 12 columns uh, for the grid system uh, footer with the uh, basic classes of uh, padding 3, uh, margin top 4, uh, text center, uh, background dark, uh, text light uh, also these are uh, bootstrap uh, classes uh, text warning for uh, the red uh, sorry it's not red I believe for warning class it's um, warning is uh, green I guess okay uh, font weight for the font weight uh, also all these are for uh, uh, for for styling from bootstrap and that's why we, we imported bootstrap we, we will not uh, care about styling this this tutorial so here 
uh, changing the class for the class name word and save and then we need to import it uh, so I will copy this we will copy from import from footer from nav okay from components we importing footer and here it is so we need to uh, put some parentheses and and put the navbar and and beneath it we need we need to use the same footer tag so after saving we will have an error because in ESX or in ES, ES uh, sorry in GSX uh, we can't uh, we can't use uh, or we can't return multiple elements or multiple items we need uh, a parent item first to return a parent item then inside this parent item we can insert uh, any uh, how many um, uh, elements we need uh, to uh, to to put inside our elements. So uh, first we need to put a div, and inside the div we can return our uh, our components. So let's save. Let's go back, and here's our uh, here's our footer. Uh, so guys, that's it for this video. I'll be I'll make sure to uh, to insert. Uh, uh, the code will be available of course on uh, on github I will uh, put the uh, the link in the description so thank you for watching and see you later